push the tempo, 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 push the tempo. As Ian enjoyed his meal and the noisy match on television, his deep fat fryer got hotter and hotter and burst into flames. Within minutes, choking smoke was filling the house. Suddenly I got this very acrid smell, that's the only way I can describe it, and opened the doors to the hall, and it was filled with black smoke. I tried desperately to get through the smoke to get into the kitchen, but I couldn't do it. It was too acrid, too solid. I would say the flames were about four feet higher than the gas stove. But this was, this choked you everything else. So I had a hanky over my mouth while I grabbed the phone. But it was, it was panic really, because um, trying to think straight in a situation like that isn't easy. Ran outside and phoned the fire brigade, and then the fact. I'll show you what we need. Ten-year-old Annie's school day starts in a very ordinary way. In the morning, sometimes I'm really chirpy and sometimes I'm not. It depends if I've gone to bed at the right time or really late. I get up, um, I get dressed in the bathroom usually. Um, I go downstairs, have breakfast, then I go up and clean my teeth, get my lunch box, put it in my bag, get all the things I need for school and go. Like many school children her age, Annie gets a lift with her mum, but it's the school that she's dropped off at that makes her life so unusual. Welcome back to Mallorca. We're in that villa behind me. Three employees are waiting to hear who has impressed their boss enough to win a private dinner date with him and a chance to step ahead in the race for promotion. Salon creative director Ken Picton is looking for somebody to head his artistic team. It's a huge opportunity for the three candidates, Lauren, Dre and Nicola. More money, great prestige and the chance to travel the world. But to secure the job, they'll have to impress Ken. Their first task was to create a style concept with a Mallorcan theme. But which one of them has demonstrated the qualities that Ken is looking for? Courtney Love is a train wreck, just a perpetual train wreck. Courtney Love must be um, one of the biggest mysteries of, how, of where the money goes. No one likes spending money quite like Courtney Love. Once part of rock royalty, her marriage to Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain appeared to set her up for life. Her early musical success as the lead singer of Hole and as an actress in the biopic Sid and Nancy laid the foundations for a career rich in controversy, but not necessarily in cash. You always want her to recover, do well, but every time she goes up, she seems to drop even lower the next time around. In her case, I don't think it has anything to do with money. I just think it has to do with the wrong medication, maybe. <laughs> so what do I have to read into the thing about things have come to an end? Unfortunately, literally only last week, the hotel was actually sold. I find it very sad. I mean, I, I know we were never going to make a go of this, yeah. and I, I think we all understood that, yes. to be honest mm. with you. So you weren't making the profits, obviously, no, and no. you bought it at 1.2 million or something? It was 1.25, and then we had to find the extra money for the you know, drainage that we had to put in. What did you sell it at? It was on the market at 1.3. We actually had to drop it to 9.25. Really? Yeah. And how many hundreds of thousands of pounds losses in the few years you were there? I would think in the last four years, um, we've lost in excess of 500,000. Next up is the boy who just can't seem to keep out of trouble. In and out of prison, in and out of rehab, and in and out of love. It's been quite a summer for the baddest lad in pop. In at number nine. Pete Doherty is a tabloid editor's dream. It's very easy for them to show pictures of Pete Doherty looking at he's out of his brains, whether he is or not. It seems that he's become an easy victim. 
I think he said on TV that he wanted to do a George Best in reverse, and George Best became known for, uh, obviously he was known as an incredible footballer, and then became known for sort of his antics off the pitch. Um, and Pete has sort of done the other, the other way round. Pete Doherty courts controversy, and the tabloids love it. Over the last couple of years, his drug problems, arrests, and court appearances have given rise to thousands of column inches. Throw an on-off relationship with a world-famous supermodel into the mix, and he's a newspaper editor's dream. Time to get the team in the garden and clear this mess out. This fern is a little gem, and along with the aeonium, or alien, that Steve was so keen to keep, we're actually saving some plants amongst all this destruction. Good stuff. 